Hello, my name is Robin Harrison. I'm the B2B editor here at Clarion Gaming, and I'm here at IGB Live in Amsterdam with Peter Stevens of Waterhouse VC. What is the prevailing sentiment among investors considering the macroeconomic factors and the regulatory headwinds facing the industry? I mean, we're finding that investors now are demanding positive cash flows from, from their portfolio companies. And really that's because of a, a couple of key macroeconomic headwinds being inflation and the cost of living crisis. So the cost of capital has increased, um, businesses are feeling the pinch and um, we're seeing that flow through to the marketing expenditure of large operators. A couple of examples being Churchill Downs, which completely exited their sports book business in, in February. Um, Wynn Resort said that they were going to they were going to curb on their marketing heavy strategy uh, earlier this year. We're obviously also seeing investors are, are talking with their, I guess, talking with their feet and um, discounting the valuations of high growth US companies like Rush Street and DraftKings, which have both lost about 80% of their valuation. Um, so, so for us uh, as a fund, we, you know, we prefer highly cash flow generative businesses. Um, example of that would be like Flutter, 888. These businesses can lean in with their marketing expenditure when others have to pull back because of the current environment. Waterhouse VC is particularly active investing on the supply side. So why do you feel this offers the most growth potential or the best return? Yeah, I mean, we feel like it definitely offers the best growth potential. And it, that's not the key reason though. The key reason is that Tom, who was the founder of the fund, um, he had the fastest growing bookmaker in Australia, sold it into William Hill, and then was the CEO of William Hill Australia. And really, at William Hill, he saw that it's very easy for a supplier to get onto the product roadmap of, of someone like William Hill, but then incredibly difficult to get integrated. But once you're integrated, and the reason it's difficult is because you and I could both go to William Hill along with three others and say that we have the best, for example, eSports odds feed. They need to do all of their technical due diligence on that eSports odds feed or, or whatever B2B service it is. You're probably not going to get integrated, but, but once you're integrated, you're very sticky in William Hill. And I, I guess you can see it with how many operators are on legacy platforms, for example. Um, so for us as a, as a fund, if we can find the highest quality suppliers, um, they typically have quite defensive revenue streams, um, particularly against regulatory headwinds. So if taxes go up um, you know, and you're taking a clip of, of GGR, you're still generating significant revenues. And, and, and that's really why we focus on, on suppliers. And also because you can develop a network effect between them, refer suppliers between each other amongst our own portfolio. And then finally, when it comes to investment today, are all investments being carried out with an eye on the US market? So we, we actually have two focus areas at the moment. Probably the US is one and, and the growth of uh, crypto wagering. And those are the two fastest growing areas and that's where the suppliers can focus their efforts. In, in both of them, we're, we're playing them both through, through suppliers. But that's not to say that once those two I guess thematics mature, we can't take that strategy to the next geography or, or key growth area. Uh, we think that's probably going to be Africa or Latin America. You're already seeing operators like 888 um, go to Africa and, and we feel like there's a, long, there's a long tailwind, there's a long tailwind there. But that's not to say that, I mean, we think the US in particular is going to take years to mature and, and that's just because of the way the state by state regulation is occurring. Peter, thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for having me today.